Hello and welcome back to another tutorial of Tableau from Practical IT. In this lesson, we will see how we will compare a data of current year versus previous year. As we have seen the worksheet title, we will look into current year versus previous year. How we can compare a trend of a particular year versus previous year. We will look in this video. So basically I want to select, I want to give user a flexibility to select any particular year. In this data we have 4 years, 2016, 2017, 2018 and 2019. Let's say if a user has a flexibility to select any of the year, let's pick 2018, user had selected 2018, <coughs> I want to compare data of 2018 and also 2017 the moment user select 2018 the visualization should reflect of two years 2017 plus 2018 this is this is the topic we will learn in this video right so let me remove this as you have seen i have here uh, i have four years in this so first I will give a, a parameter first I will include a parameter in this visualization so that a user can pick any of the year right first let me remove this what I will do I will first create a parameter come over this drop down create parameter I want to call it uh, pick a year uh, let's say you, you can call it a current year current year right and the year should be a st uh, integer I want uh, to have a list so I would like to give it a to 2016 2017 2018 and 2019 these are the four years that I would like to have if I uh, show parameter control you will see four years has been added to this control uh, current year parameter right so I want to have my order date onto the column shelf uh, I would take it by uh, year oh, sorry month uh, let me uh, let me uh, this is my month visualization and I also want to include a uh, profit uh, measure profit measure onto row shelf so currently I have a data of all three years all four years Jan to December this is a cumulative data I am getting this profit in a cumulative form 2016 to 2019 right so I have now a parameter to select any of the year let's say I pick 2017 so visualization should reflect a two visualization should give me a two trend line of 2018 as a current year and 2017 as a previous year so I will create a calculation field I will create a calculate field just click on this create calculate field I will give it a name let me uh, calculation dot let me call it is current year I will call it uh, current year versus previous year right so I will pass here a validation validation would be if my current year CRT year is equal to year of order year order date which is my uh, which is in my uh, dimension order date then we will call it a current year right and after that else if I also want to include a condition for previous year so let's say else if current year is current year minus 1 I want to include current year minus 1 is equal to year of order date then we have a previous year PRV year right previous year else else we want to have no data 
then we will call it end if and sorry end so what I am saying here <coughs> let's say this my current year current year these are the value of current year let's say if I have a current year value 2018 is equal to year order date <coughs> I mean year from order date is 2000 year if both the years matches that that means it is my current year else if if my current year minus 1 which is 2017 is equal to year of my order date that will be treated as previous year else else means 2016 and 2019 I want no data to reflect right simply I want to <coughs> press uh, click on apply then ok I need to filter on this let me filter current year previous year apply then ok right and what I will do I will drag this my calculation field onto color shelf the moment you drag your calculation field onto color shelf you will see the two trend lines have been divided right one is for the current year and one is for the previous year the blue trend line shows reflects for current year and the orange line reflects for our previous year the moment I select 2019 you will see this line is 2019 sorry 2018 previous year our current year is this blue line right so what I will do I will do some little bit formatting so what I will do I will uh, let me drag uh, some uh, let me uh, drag some profit onto level shelf right not profit let me drag uh, order or oh, sorry order date so th this will reflect me uh, here and also let me drag uh, what you call it some of uh, profit onto a profit level shelf so this will uh, reflect your profit <coughs> so I will format it uh, to the color that I have let me uh, right click uh, let me first uh, give it a very good color for this current year let me uh, have me uh, for this color for previous year I want to have uh, this color let's say uh, then apply then okay right it's not so bright let me pick another color let me pick this color apply then okay right you are getting two trend lines for current year and the previous year the moment I select 2016 it will show me that trend for 2016 only because we have no data of 2015 year that's why it is showing me a current year right so let me pick 2018 only and let me uh, drag profit onto a uh, size what it will happen the width of this uh, trend line would change according to the volume of the uh, volume of profit right so let me also format this right click and uh, format oh sorry this is my uh, label so how will I how would I format click on this label font I want to keep it font uh, 10 bold match mark color right so this will this looks me nice now 2017 if I select 2017 you will get this data right let me uh, minimize the size right 2018 2019 and 18 this is how you can create uh, but guys this, there is one thing you you see here uh, the Jan Feb March it is in a complete letter what I want I want to apply uh, abbreviation on this right click on this axis and click on this format under uh, date parts just click on this abbreviation the moment you select abbreviation you will get Jan Feb March in a short form right if you want to keep it full name just click on this Jan to December first letter J F M numeric 1 2 3 numeric with leading zeros 0 and 0 2 0 3 like this right I want to keep it with abbreviation right now I think it's the chart looks me uh, pretty uh, beautiful guys you see here uh, there is a comma comma uh, in here so it gives me it doesn't gives me a nice uh, parameter values 
the parameter values looks me something odd so what i can do i i i don't want to have uh, this comma after uh, in between of this uh, any of the values in any of the years so what i can do i will uh, change my uh, parameter uh, let me edit it and let me select it with string the moment i select it on the string uh, let me have all the values 2016 comma 2017 2018 and 2019 right if i select ok the moment i select ok the visualization has been disappeared just because of the If you see here, you got this uh, exclamation mark on this my uh, calculation. It means it says there is something wrong with this calculation. Click on this, edit. If you uh, hover your mouse or you can click on the drop down, it says can't compare string and integer values. It means the year which are which we are passing from uh, our parameter it is in the form of a string so what we will do we will uh, convert this uh, uh, string value into integer simply use int function int right you can use int function or wrap it with int function int sorry int All right now it says the calculation is valid now click on apply then okay you select 2017 it gives me data of 2017 and 2016 17 and uh, 17 and 18 so this is how you also can change your visualization of your view of your uh, parameter in a string so that int function can be used to convert them in a number in this visualization take it to presentation mode 2017 we have both the year this is our 2017 year and this is our 2016 year if you hover your mouse over you will get a tooltip right so this is how you can create a create a, you can show a current year versus previous year in a visualization right so i am keeping this video till here only so I will see you in my uh, next tutorial. Till then you stay healthy and stay safe. Bye-bye.